for Game Recognized Game. We got some cool updates with our Baltimore Ravens. J.K. Dobbins, who we know is out for the remainder of the year. He tore his Achilles in that week win one over the Houston Texans. He's been working. He's been rehabbing. And he's obviously trying to come back next year. But somebody who also tore their Achilles in that week one game, a win, by the way, too, was Aaron Rodgers. And it was said that Aaron Rodgers is actually rehabbing with... J.K. Dobbins. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, man. I like that. And see, I, I like when some of the more popular people, whether they football players or actually just stars, when they recognize the Baltimore Ravens. Like, I know a lot of people not really feeling the whole Kim Kardashian, Odell Beckham Jr. thing, but I like it. I, I, I'm cool with it because it's bringing more attention to the Baltimore Ravens. So I thought that was a neat little tidbit to start us off. Now, Ravens also made some roster moves. They re-signed Eric Tomlinson. Now, we know he's a tight end. Uh, he was with the Ravens a couple of years ago. Solid guy, but mostly known as a blocking tight end. Now, the Baltimore Ravens need all the blocking that they could get because Lamar Jackson, been just, he's just been getting pressured way too much. He's been having people in his face way too much. He just The protection has not been good overall this year. They've been having some good moments here and there, but overall, it just, in my opinion, it has not been good. So they brought in Eric Tomlinson to hopefully help with that. So they signed him to the practice squad. They also brought back another familiar face, somebody who was here uh, in the preseason, and that was uh, DB, cornerback, safety, whatever you want to call him, uh, DeAndre Houston Carson. And he is a very versatile player. He was once called the, the Anthony Levine uh, of his, the Chicago Bears So they brought him back uh, And they also signed a cornerback to the practice squad That being Trey Swilling So the Ravens, been, they've been making some moves Now, whenever you bring in somebody Especially to the practice squad You gotta take some people off uh, And they did that without any doing of their own Because they lost safety Deron Harmon Former Super Bowl champion with the Patriots They lost him to the Chicago Bears The Bears signed uh, Deron Harmon Off the Baltimore Ravens practice squad uh, And they also cut Dante Demas Jr. Which... It's a bittersweet thing, man, because I know a lot of Ravens fans, especially with him being from Maryland, um, a lot of Ravens fans wanted him to make the team, wanted him to be on the team and, and had high hopes for him. So when they brought him back just last week, it was like, all right, let's go, baby. But now they're releasing him a week later. But now while that it is, it's bad for him, for the Baltimore Ravens, and when we're talking about health, this does speak volumes, in my opinion, to the Baltimore Ravens' health of at least one wide receiver because they let him go. So in my opinion, I think that we're going to get at least one wide receiver back today at practice. Now, I, I know Odell Beckham Jr. I, I would think it would be him because Odell Beckham Jr., you know, with Marlon Humphrey with the victory IG Live. And I hope that we get to see a lot more of those because it's always good when we see those because that means the Ravens won. But Odell Beckham Jr., Marlon Humphrey went to Odell, Odell Beckham Jr. the other day after the Ravens won. And he was trying to talk to him. Odell was like, no, 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 no. Talk, talk to me when I play next week. And I was like, OK, Odell, hey, you said it, not me. So, hey, Odell, we waiting on you. And Odell's somebody who I thought, we all thought wasn't going to miss any time. Because when he left the uh, Bengals game a couple of weeks ago, uh, Ian Rappaport said, hey, it's just a minor injury. It should, it's just a little angle injury. It shouldn't affect anything moving forward. He should be right on track. He should play. He should be straight. I'm like, okay, good. That's, that's great news. But we ain't seen him since. So, you know how that goes. Um, also, uh, which leads to today that, that we could get some great news today. I'm expecting a lot of great news for the Baltimore Ravens today. I'm expecting a lot of people to be full go in practice today. Uh, hopefully, Ronnie Stanley, Tyler Linderbaum, obviously is good to go because he played in the game last week. But hopefully, Ronnie Stanley, could, we could scratch out the limited. We could throw away the limited practices, and he'll be full, a full participant. I'm, expect, I'm really expecting Marlon Humphrey back this week. I'm really expecting him to be there this week. I'm expecting Odell Beckham Jr. back. Uh, Rashad Bateman, ah, I don't know. I don't know. But Marcus Williams, uh, I'm expecting him to be full participant from jump. Not like limited than full, full, but full, full, full for Marcus Williams, too. So the more people the Baltimore Ravens can get back, the better, the, the, the more merrier, the happier that we'll all be because oh, Tyus Bowser could be another one. Tyus Bowser, he could come back this week, too. And somebody who a lot of us had, had high hopes for, very excited about, uh, especially with the Ravens running back situation being what it is right now, Keaton Mitchell. If Keaton Mitchell could get activated too, oh, that would be nice because the Baltimore Ravens got a little thing at running back right now. And what I mean when I say that, Gus Edwards, obviously, that's a, the number one guy. Should have been the number one guy a long time ago. But anyway, he's the number one guy. Then you got Justice Hill. And Justice Hill, hey, that man was showing out uh, on Sunday with the cuts. Like, I knew Justice Hill could cut. Well, I didn't know he could cut like that. So Justice Hill was doing his thing. Uh, but then after that, it gets a little tricky because Melvin Gordon, they are out of practice squad call-ups with Melvin Gordon. So if they want to call him up again, they either have to sign him to the active roster or they have to release him and then hope that he clears waivers and then they can sign him back to the practice squad. 
So that's what it's up with him. And then you got Kenyon Drake. He got a couple more call-ups left, so we'll see what happens with that. But I do, seriously, I, I expect a lot of great news this afternoon when the Ravens take the practice field. I expect we uh, the, the tweets to be going off, the reports to be going off. Hey, this guy's at practice. This guy's at practice. He returned to practice. Oh, it's nice to see this guy finally here. So I, I'm expecting all of that. I really am. Now, we got a big game this week because the Baltimore Ravens play the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Baltimore Ravens could, if they could sneak out a win, this week, then they would go 3-0 and in away division games. So that would mean the rest of the division games would be, all be at the crib, all be at M&T Bank Stadium. So if you could sneak this win against the P Pittsburgh Steelers, that could go such a long way for your season and make your job that much easier down the stretch when it comes to the division. But uh, speaking of the division... Kenny Pickett, his status right now is up in the air uh, for the Ravens-Steelers game. They're saying that he might try to practice this week. He'll try to give it a go at practice and see how he feels. Uh, but if not Kenny Pickett, then Mitch Trubisky. So either way, it'll be a challenge. From either way, we saw Kenny Pickett, especially in clutch time against the Baltimore Ravens last year. We saw when he drove down the field for that game-winning drive and Najee Harris scored it over Roquan Smith. We all remember. I don't like to bring it up, but we have to because it was reality. So hopefully we don't see the same thing happen twice. And the Baltimore Ravens take care of business against whether it's Kenny Pickett or whether it's Mitch Trubisky. Both will present their challenges. But somebody else who's a big part of what the Pittsburgh Steelers do is Pat Fryermuth. And Pat Fryermuth, uh, he, is, he got some injury going on, and he is expected to be just like the end of these videos and be 